An annual memorial turns into a hands-on history lesson. Cedar Grove High School students are planting thousands of flags in memory of 9-11 victims. As News 12 New Jersey's Meister Rubin reports, it's a, it's a tradition that's also an education tool. My dad was actually supposed to be on the um, in the building before I was born and his train was delayed. 16-year-old Matthew Okoro has heard the stories of 9-11 his whole life and today is learning another lesson about those terror attacks that almost took his dad years before he was even born. I like looking at the names, imagining what kind of person they were and like the unfortunate way they passed away. Matthew and his classmates at Cedar Grove High School are spending their first week back to school helping to plant the Cedar Grove waves. One flag next to each name of the near 3,000 victims of the terror attack. The annual tribute taking on new meaning this 20th year since. It is the 20th anniversary and it is a big deal. This is something major that happened in our history. And if we don't honor and remember these lives, they can't be forgotten. A few years ago, Cedar Grove Waves added a 9-11 steel monument and this year raised funds for permanent recessed lighting that will illuminate the memorial year round. Over the years, the flag installation has become more than tradition. It's become a hands-on lesson in a history that no current high school student lived through or remembers. Kids are visual learners, and so we can talk about stuff and read about stuff. But when you come out here and see 2,977 flags on the front lawn, each one representing a person, that stays with you. It really just shows um, the important date that 9-11 was and that it shows that you don't really have to, you didn't have to be alive to experience 9-11 or to know about it and that um, the history is still always going to be there. All the flags will be planted in their places by September 11th and that is when the lights will be turned on and the display will be available for all to see for two weeks. In Cedar Grove, Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. Cedar Grove Waves will host a 9-11 memorial service in front of the Flag Garden on Saturday morning. This project, though, is paid for by donations and fundraising. So you can get more information on how you can see the display or even donate at news12.com.